Okay guys, back with the Earth Circle. I recently uploaded some footage of my Iron Hands work in 30k and spoke about how, you know, I've done this sort of colour shift technique using Tamiya clear paints over metallic base coats. And a lot of people wanted to see how I did that. Now there's a slight problem here. I've painted the models already. <laughs> now I've got more Gorgons, I've got uh, more characters, dreadnoughts, that kind of thing to paint up for the Iron Hands. That's not a problem, there'll be more done in the future. But, right now for uh, what is available, I've got a bit of a conundrum. Now it turns out that there is some footage that I took of me painting the dreadnought. So what I've done is taken that footage off my camera phone and I will put it together into this little clip here and show you sort of the aftermath of each step. So yeah, you won't get to see me doing the actual painting, but you'll get to see the result of each layer of paint. And it's really simple to follow. You just look at it and you're like, oh yeah, basically just spray to me a clear paint in patches all over the model and just vary the patches and where you put it. And by the end of it, you get a pretty good result out of it. Anyway, back to the outer circle. Hope you enjoyed the following video performing the orange pass at the moment. As you can see, it's quite strong in some spots. This actually gets a very golden sheen. And um, this is the first stage in painting an Iron Hand Dreadnought for me, with this scheme I was just sort of winging uh, on the Gorgons. This is after the green pass. So just trying to contrast with the orange areas by in some spots overlapping it, in others just trying to cancel it out altogether. Uh, all in all, just going for a very mottled effect at the moment, uh, because there are many layers still to go. This right here is after the blue pass. As you can see, it's starting to get very cool in color tone. The next one's gonna be a red um, slash purple um, pass, which should sort of brown it up a bit and give you more of the traditional oil slick colors. And that's after the red pass. So the red turning purplish, of course, once you go over uh, any of the blue sections. And you can really dilute it and brown it up if you keep going over the same sections over and over again. So it's just playing with what feels right. Now I've got to touch up inside the Frag Assault launchers. They're not lights. And then uh, move on to the next colour. Alright, and that's after the final coat. To get the oily sheen, which is of uh, Tamir's smoke, with a tiny touch of Minotaur Raven Black added to it, just to darken it up a little bit more. But you get this beautiful sheen. And now, obviously, as I move the miniature around, all the different colours, the reds, the purples, everything that went into it, sort of all comes through. So hopefully, you'll enjoy. Uh, this quick little tutorial I've sort of done on this, just showing each stage. It's not important how you put the paint on, it's important how you achieve the effect in the end that counts. And that's how I put the colour on, and hopefully you can figure out something that works for you. But for me, I made this all up as I went on my Gorgons. Only early days yet, but um, as you can see, I've got this sort of like wet oil thing going on with the armor where I've got all these different metallic tones to it. So that's with a clear red, orange, green, blue and uh, smoke all combined together sprayed over the models and especially on like, the power fist you can see the transition is like five different colors in there. What do you think of that guys? And of course, here is the finished product. Complete with the paint that changes tone as we look around it. Because that's cool as hell. And of course, the arms are still magnetic. Legion Leviathan.